hopefully that music isn't too loud. Um, I need a closer view. Working on a little board today. Let's turn down that music. Lower. Hello, everyone joining in. Um, sorry, I forgot I was working with such a small board today. I installed my setup from the last one. Sorry for the shaky cam. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Welcome once again uh, to everyone who's joining in right here at the beginning. Welcome once again to Artful Connections. My name is Cody Sherman. I am a artist mentor and AmeriCorps member uh, serving at Art Force Iowa. I don't know why it's so hard for me to talk today. <laughs> at Art Force Iowa. Uh, uh, my. Let's go, yep. Uh, my uh, primary medium is woodcut printmaking, as you've seen me do the past. Uh, God, is this week four? Well, the past four weeks, uh, going to be four weeks. So, today I have this little tiny board, little tiny. I I mentioned uh, at the li at the live stream last week, I am trying to design hats, and I have an old hat that has my logo on it, but I'm I'm wanting something. Uh, that one's getting old. I need something new, so I'm going to carve this one out. I'm hoping this looks toastery enough. I kind of wish I had some bread popping out, but I can only make my design so big. Um, I also thought about adding the um, like the plug-in cable, but I'm not sure. But maybe this is fine. I don't know. I'll take feed any feedback you got in the chat. Um, and so yeah, uh, I'm going to attempt to do the whole process today. So obviously I already have it drawn out and some of the Sharpie down, but so today I'm going to be putting the paint on top to act as my guide to help me carve and then I will be carving it out hopefully I can get it done in under an hour so with this being just a little guy I'm sure it won't be a problem I am going to start this time though by honing my carving tools now as you've seen in the past live streams these are the two main tools I use um, probably not in focus one is a U-gouge. Uh, it's more of a scoop, just like that. And then the V-gouge, the v pretty self-explanatory. The V, again, is great for line work. The U is great for taking out large chunks. So, let's see if I can move this a little bit. Also, if we get done a little early today, I might just show you my setup. I've had a lot of people ask me about how I do my live streams. So I might just give you a little, uh, you know, little behind the scenes. The whole process in, in less than an hour. What did I say? In less than an hour. Yeah. <laughs> I say less than an hour. Because I've already spent four and a half minutes just bumbling on. Okay, so I'm going to use this thing called a slip strop. Uh, this tool, this here, this is a honing compound. I'm just spreading some onto this block of wood. I'm going to take my carving tool like that and drag it across. Now you can see... I've tried to clean it up a little bit, but you can see all that black or gray stuff on the wood. That is leftover metal. Um, so it's just like very teeny tiny, like, 
as super small bits of metal just coming off to keep that edge nice and straight and sharp. So, and then on the back, I have uh, a thing of leather. It's a little leather, same deal. I'm just going to drag my tool across. Now, I'm making sure that I'm hitting all edges of it. So, one side, I'll flip the tool over, hit the other side with it. And again, you can see all of this gray, all that black. That is from leftover metal, just staying behind. And these things are relatively cheap too, and they'll make your tools last a lot longer. I think this is only like 10, 15 bucks maybe. Um, if you're in Des Moines area, Woodsmith store, online, find them anywhere. Um, so, that is that. Oh, I better do the U gadge really quick. You can probably see, but there's different uh, shapes depending on what kind of carving tool you have. So I'm using the rounded one for my U gouge. Oop, don't want to carve out my table. Alright, dang. That one really needed it, I guess. You can always tell when it's looking good too because it almost has like a shiny mirror finish on the back. Now, I have this thing set for, like, a static, um, what do you want to say? Uh, my camera's only zoomed in to a certain around, uh, amount, so it won't, uh, focus. A static focus is what I'm trying to say, so I, I can never remember where it is, but you can see that's shiny. You get the idea. So, alright, so I got my bench hook, my bench hook right here. set this down and um, as a guide I mentioned before I like to use a little bit of paint I've used marker in the past too but this is just a little bit of like just really watered down paint uh, and this just helps me see what I still have to carve out because the texture of the wood the texture of the wood thank you is pretty much the same top and bottom feel free to ask any questions while I'm doing this too whether it be about the woodcut or the process or anything really Woo, look out I still got my goofy mustache All right, so I'm just gonna give that a minute here to dry. Ooh, yeah, see, I love that red. So, as we wait for this to dry, um, why don't we, uh, let's just go outside really quick and see what the weather's like. This is awful. I thought this was spring. All my flowers are covered in like a nice layer of snow. I don't want to go outside in this. Alright, well, enough of this. Let's get back. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I've always, I'm like, I'm trying to include like a goofy green screen thing in every one of my <laughs> streams now. Last time was the cowboy hat. The time before that was the Mexican restaurant. I might still have the Mexican restaurant in my thing. Nope. Never mind. That's just... Nope. Nope. Not, not that one. That's also... <laughs> I always accidentally click that one. That's the bird. Um. Anyway. <laughs> so. Drinking some tea. 
because I don't have a coffee maker. All right. <laughs> oh, yes, the letters. Yes, they have to be backwards. That's the thing with printmaking. <laughs> <laughs> the thing with printmaking is that everything has to be backwards uh, that way it, you have to think of it like a stamp so it, it has to be in reverse so when I go to print it you know like bam it'll read the correct way I hope my boss is not watching <laughs> Anyway, yeah, that the bird was uh, a setting up screen that it was an idea I had. I don't know why I didn't delete it. I decided not to use it like that. That's too silly. That's not very professional of me. And uh, I left it in there. But it's a bird making pasta. Here, I'll just like there he is, because we all have to social. You know, have you ever messed one up? Yes, oh, I definitely have. But even the birds are currently having the social distance, so, you know, staying at home, making pasta, the usual. Oh, yes, but I have for sure uh, messed that up. And, uh, it's always the worst. Oh, whoop. Uh, am I still live streaming? Yeah, that was backwards. Oh, you're right! Ugh. No, uh, the worst is when you get finished, and then you print it, and then you read it, and you're just like, Oh, no! So, yes, that, uh, that has definitely happened. Um, yeah, when that happens, you either have to just completely start over, or hope there is enough wood filler to, uh, save your life. So... All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on this. And usually I wait a little bit longer for the paint to dry. Uh, just because with it being wet, it makes the wood soft and just kind of makes it really weird to carve. But oh, we're just going to power through this one. Um, I should probably start by tracing it. So yeah, if people want to, I can definitely, uh, I mentioned at the very beginning of the, screen, uh, the stream, if people want to, I can, uh, Oops, there we go. I can kind of show you behind the scenes a little bit on my setup here, because, I mean, at this time of you know, social distancing and isolation, a lot of people are getting into streaming, and it can be really confusing at first, for sure. I have a pretty simple setup. We call it quirky, right? There was, uh, I did, I was a part of a conference one time, or well, I should say, a, a part of a, um, a print exchange is what they call them. So print exchanges are where people make an edition of... Uh, it, it varies on the exchange, but in this case it was... I had to make 12 prints. One I kept for myself, one went to the conference, and the other 10 went to 10 random people who were also part of the exchange. And so... Uh, and then what happens is you get 10 random ones back. And the theme that year was very original printmaking. So, with that theme, uh, a lot of like the, the uh, advertising posters had like some of the letters backwards. As just like a nod to how much of a pain in the butt that kind of thing could be. OK. 
Okay. If it is out of focus, uh, definitely let me know. I can try to change it. Because I know I, I have this set to focus on my uh, large blocks. Here, let's see. Maybe I can just... Um, oh god, now I'm afraid to like click buttons because I don't remember what's what. Base cam, art cam, here we go. Art cam. There, is that any better? Is that worse? Oh. Uh, I'll keep going like this. So anybody else here do a uh, live stream of any kind, whether it be art, music, just talking, video games? Anything like that? I know I personally have been playing a lot of video games during this uh, during this time, but that is not really out of the ordinary. Too boring, that's fine. You know, I will say, I used to stream video games um, years ago. Like, oh god, it's probably been six plus years where I, I, I used to do it constantly. And I had like a, a little audience that would join in every time I'd stream. I, at the time, um, Uh, what was it? I did Minecraft mods. Specifically a Pokemon mod for Minecraft. And I would stream that for a couple hours. But, man, let me tell you what. Streaming video games, like, it can be fun, but at the same time, it almost feels like... It gets to almost be like a chore. Like, you feel bad for playing games without streaming. You're like, oh god, somebody should be watching me right now play this game. I'm not doing my job right. Anyway, that's how I felt anyway. Get some of that internet money. So, okay. Now that I have my whole image traced out, I'm just going through and getting rid of the excess on the outside. And I always like to, I like to keep a consistent grain as I carve. Now, since I'm carving an MDF, it technically doesn't have a grain, but I'm kind of creating one by using my carving tool to, you know, you can kind of, maybe you can see a little bit of these lines that I'm making with the, the grooves. And kind of, it's hard to see. But there's grooves I'm making here with the, uh, with the carving tool. And some of those groups show up in printing, which kind of give it a little bit of character. Now you don't want too many of those to show up or it just looks sloppy. Here I can show you one that I already finished. Or here, this is actually a really old board. Um, this one 
You can kind of see like the grooves that have been made. On the other side. Oh god, it's reflecting the green screen, so it's getting all weird. Anyway. Um, okay. I don't want to do this. Let's go this way now. It might be hard to keep that grain at the bottom since uh, it's so skinny down there. This part always goes fast, but man, letters, letters take forever. So that's why I'm, I'm worried I might not be able to finish this in an hour. Yeah, it is be fast if I do this. Oh, careful. say that I should do like a ASMR for uh, wood carving. I don't know if you can hear the scraping very well. Here, let me get like the, see if I can get the mic like right up into it. Oh yeah, for sure. Sitting on a gold mine right there. Alright, turn the music back on. <laughs> Alright, hey, looks like we have some people. So soothing. Thanks. Sorry, I just kind of burped on camera. That was gross. After after that nice soothing, like, uh, ASMR experience. Burp in your face. Um, welcome to everyone who's just hopping in. looking good oh, see so I, lo I love when I, I get to this part like when I have my inner image just ready to be carved it looks like it's already popping out already um, so yes I still need to get rid of all of the red that's inside of the image now too so it should just be only the black that stays didn't hear the bird well I already outed myself so it is what it is <laughs> Okay. Drink a tea. Let's see if the uh, let's see if the weather has got any better outside. Nope. Still snow. And 
let's go back to the studio. We're here. <laughs> okay. This is not the way you hold a carving tool, <laughs> but this thing is super dull. I, I do a good job of using my my honing tool, uh, but this thing is several years old now. Um, I need to either put it on a grinding wheel to try to bring it back, which is, it, I have one, it's just very difficult and it's very easy to ruin them. And this is my only like good one I got. Or you just gotta replace them, so. I wasn't about to do that on live stream before a carving. I could do it after the carving, but didn't want to do it just in case I ruined them and <laughs> didn't have anything to carve with. That would have been awkward. So soothing. All right, I made a mistake wearing this hoodie. I am melting. carved out there looking good looking good whoops carved a little extra out that's okay carve a little more even it out perfect done doing the easy bits first because man do I hate carving out letters <laughs> I have letters in a lot of my designs but they are less than fun to uh, to carve out all right looking good looking good See all my nerdy knickknacks. I need to modify my bench hook a little bit. Some of them have like this nice like notch right in the middle where you can put in corners like that and it'll hold it there. This one does not. That is okay. I can make do. Is anyone else making art at this time? It doesn't have to be during this live stream, but just during quarantine. So we here at Art Force Iowa, we would love to see it, whatever you're working on. Especially if you're working on during these artful connection streams. <laughs> gotta change, yeah, I gotta run outside really quick to cool off. Look at this hoodie. Maybe here in a bit. Just gotta get this part done. How much, oh, I got a half hour left. All right, we're halfway there.
this design is pretty simple. Uh, no real texture. Everything's pretty blocky. Very simple. I don't need it to be anything fancy though. Prints years ago. Yeah, go for it. Linoleum is definitely not my favorite medium uh, to use for printmaking, but uh, I mean, if that's what gets you into it, go for it. Unless you start selling woodcut printed t-shirts like I do, then we're going to have problems. you have like unmounted lino that was all curved and pain in the butt you know a lot of the times people mount their lino on this kind of wood the mdf because it's so dense um oh well, oh yeah i remember what i was gonna say um so yesterday when I was Waffle Iron Studio <laughs> when I was getting ready to do this uh, or you know prepping for today's live stream I was in my garage getting my wood to uh, I thought I was going to have to cut it down because I have large blocks of wood but I found this small block I was like oh hey perfect I can do my new logo block on this and uh, I'm just looking at this I'm like oh yeah this is a perfect size I'll just use this and then I pick it up I'm like oh I already did it I'm like I already drew it on there I'm like well cool so like cleaned it up a little bit and hey what well, do you know easy thanks pass Cody I say people well, I, I even mean like you can buy linoleum that's that's pre-mounted <laughs> which I don't know I just prefer I prefer wood 
just it's definitely harder to carve but I don't know I like being able to really kind of just like lean into what I'm doing and if you take your time with it you can just get I mean you can get extraordinary detail with Leno don't get me wrong but I don't know nothing just nothing beats wood for me I say that as I'm using like a faux wood right now but <laughs> it's close enough okay gonna take a second here and I'm gonna take this hoodie off because I am melting it is too early to be sweating like this after I just took a shower screen all messed up now sorry all my camera controls are on the mo my monitor over here oh no you can see what side is this on over here the magic there we go I can like Okay, let's see. Let's do... I took my glasses off. Okay. Fix the magic. Cool. Alright, let's try it again. Here we go. I'm going to speed up a little bit here because like I said I wanted to try to get this done in under an hour and of course as I speed up I screw up this E that's okay it's quirky right Mistakes, happy accidents. That is right.
Now, never do what I'm doing right here. <laughs> this is a great example. I am carving towards my hand. So if this were to skip, I just foot right into my finger. That is a bad idea. Welcome to the stream. Ooh, all right. We got like 18 minutes left. Skinnier you gouge. I just got this big, this big old wide one. I know I've already kind of been doing it already, but for the next, uh, we'll say, 10 or so minutes, I'll probably be a little quiet as I just try to bust this out real quick. That being said, though, if you do have questions, feel free to ask. I will answer them.
There I go, carving towards my hand again, like I'm not supposed to. Like and subscribe. Yes, please. Like, like, subscribe, share, ring that bell. I don't think there's bells on Facebook. Uh, share, tag all your friends. But yes, Artful Connections, uh, it's not me every time, but uh, every day, every weekday at 11.30 to 12.30, we have one of our artist mentors on here creating art with all of you. Yeah, even if you don't do woodcut like I do or you know maybe you're an illustrator maybe you're a painter maybe you're a musician we'd love to see what you're making what you're doing what you're creating please just send it to the art force Iowa page we would love to see it all right let's get rid of some of those big chunks almost at the the 10 minute mark. Editing photography, nice. Cool, cool. Yeah, I think we could all use a haircut. I know I definitely do. That's why I'm wearing a beanie right now. So close, look at it. Oh.
almost there. Let's pop out that detail. Ah. There it is. Boom. A good spin. Toaster press and all of its toastery goodness. And it's heating coil food baking glory. Anyway, uh that this is ready to print. This is ready to go. I won't be printing today, obviously. I only have, what, six minutes left? So, in those six minutes, I did mention that if we had extra time, I could kind of show you my current live streaming setup. I don't know if anybody here would be interested in that. But, uh... Get a little bit of extra stuff out. Bless Toaster. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. All right. So, now that my desk is a nice wood cut chunky mess, um, let's see if I can do this really quick. Okay, so let's see. Can I hide this? Hey, look at that! Seeing behind the curtain. So yes, I use, of course, a green screen. All my stuff. And then here I'll use this camera to kind of show you around real quick. So, I have both the Facebook software so I can see what you all are typing to me and then I have my video editing software on the side where I can see all my volumes and all my different buttons and whatnot and how I accidentally switch over to uh, that bird picture every once in a while um, but then this is also like my area where I create art so I like to keep things that make me happy like all my like nerdy little knickknacks I have a couple of these uh, Dungeons and Dragons miniatures uh, I was thinking about painting I don't know if you all would be interested in that on a live stream I'm not exactly great at it but yeah that'd be those and then if you look up I got just a bunch of like amiibos and stuff up there so just a whole bunch of stuff in my tea and my paint but yeah just a stuff, bunch of stuff that uh, makes me makes me happy get the tea out of the way uh, there we go but yeah in the green screen this is literally it's just a uh, sheet that I have like nailed to the ceiling <laughs> It's nothing fancy, let me tell you that. And I have it backed with just like a, a sheet of felt, because I have a bunch of windows behind me. And uh, when they shine through, it kind of messes up the, the green screen effect. So I have to back it with something just so that it keeps, uh, keeps that from going. Anyway, that was behind the scenes. 
toaster press. Uh, I'll hype these guys again real quick. Again, here is the board that we carved. Thank you all for joining me. Um, there we go. Join me and Art Force Iowa and Artful Connections. Let's go back outside really quick. Here we are in this beautiful spring weather. Thank you, spring. Uh, please, if you don't already, uh, like, follow Art Force Iowa. Here's all the links over here. Link, uh, Artforceiowa.org. It has just all, you know, what we are and uh, what we do at Art Force Iowa. Toaster Press, that's me. This is a really outdated website. So I would suggest that you go to my Instagram at Toaster Press. All those links are on my website too. But um, Instagram and Facebook are where you're going to get all the up-to-date stuff on me. But that has been Artful Connections. Thank you all for joining again. If you have made any art with me or any of our artist mentors during the week, please send it to us. We would love to see it. Um, I'm like moving my camera around all over the place. There we go. Uh, oh, and there's like birds in this song. It's perfect. Like the spring weather. Um, yes, thank you all. And I hope you have a wonderful Friday, a wonderful weekend. And we will see you next week. Bye-bye.